good day. It is noon on 01 September 2018. So here I continue. I was not ready for this video. I'm just shooting from the hip, going for it, coming up with all the ideas right on the spot. And hopefully I don't have a 15-minute uh, monologue as per usual, but you know, you never know. So if you remember, if you recall, about just over one year ago, it was actually August 12th was when I made my first video for the diet exercise vlog. And the, the whole premise behind that was I had to train my body, had to do what is perhaps a, among the hardest physical tests in the world. And uh, a lot of people think they have the hardest test in the world. I actually did something that's a little bit harder. And it was, you know, what do you say? It's a gut check. They, that's it. Um, I found out I had an amazing realization when I was there because I had buddies who did it before and I had a lot of warnings beforehand, but I can't believe I'm saying it. Fat is good. You need to have fat on your body. So if you look at my diet exercise, I was, I was getting lean and mean to the ump degree. And I'll just say over the course of my test, I was hands down the leanest, most cut guy there. And I mean, these guys are all pretty incredible. I mean, some guys, I couldn't even believe what they were doing. And, and it just goes that far beyond. I mean, this is, this is professional level. So what does that mean? It means I found weakness in myself, uh, just being honest with it. And that's one thing that I'm gonna have to consider moving forward. And I did have a talk with someone, of course, um, a very short debrief on my test. And it looks like I'm going back. So. That's, that's gonna be a major area of focus that I have. I'll say that for this test in particular, had it been anything else, I would have been a little more disheartened, but I, I go forward with no regrets. I mean, what, what got me, my weakness, ended up being really the thing that I, I thought I was, I was capable of, but it was also, as a result, the thing I paid the least attention to over the course of all my training. And it's also something that has had very serious implications on the lives and careers of other folks. So it's, at the end of the day, it is one heck of a filter. It's a weakness that many people share. And it's one that most weaknesses, you can, if you see it in yourself, you can kind of adapt and overcome on the spot. This was one where there, that was not gonna happen. You know, the only way that was going to happen, that was my filter, absolute filter. That was my weakness, and I was not going to get through it. The only way I would have would have been in the hospital. So I'm, I say that confidently, and for that reason, I have no regret. It's just it's something that I needed more time on, and I need to do better on, and that's where I will focus uh, this, this go around and just hope that I get that opportunity. Um, okay, other things I have today, it's high country kombucha, it's wild root with sarsaparilla, the old cowboy beverage. And, and you know, just good stuff, bring me back to nature, and, and I'll just say with the, the kombucha, I've been fattening up, I don't know if you can tell on my face or anything, but I've probably spent a good month fattening up. Uh, a lot of guys have been telling me to do that for a while, and well, Looks like I gotta go and, and perform again, so now the diet's back on. I just, I'm not gonna be as lean. I have to include a lot more carbohydrates in my diet. Uh, you know, that, that's one of the other things. It's just, you know, it's a shock. You know, you, you cannot physically eat enough. It, just, just the time and everything. I mean, I was just packing as much food as I could, still wasn't good enough. and. My body may have had a couple reactions to that, so I just need to be accustomed. Everything else was solid. I mean, especially dealing, you know, dealing with guys, the way that my mind was working, it was just a lot of things were activated in myself that I, you know, I, I know it got good attention. I, I mean, I know it was, it distinguished me that way. So um, I'm definitely excited for the opportunity and you know, at the end of the day, it's, you know, people got to make their own call. It's just me being honest. I, I think that 
over um, you know the adversity of it that's that's the biggest lesson learned it's really the journey is the most important thing and like they that's that's where I've had support from my family you know they uh, they watch me on on a journey and just the way that that you adapt and overcome and, and really that's what our whole focus is you know it, it's how do we make the best with what we've got um, still I I hope that I absolutely 100% get to demonstrate what I've learned. So, other things, um, as far as my training goes, going forward, I want to do now weekly events, and so I'm, in order to iterate, like, um, let's say how you, how you improve physically, I always used to make fun of people who would have a little notebook and keep tabs on it, because I was always really, uh, really unstructured and intended to perform well. It was, it was more based on the body. So it's the two schools. It's the awareness of the body, but also the statistical approach. The statistical approach is actually quite good because I want to say that it, uh, it just hurts more. You know, it, it's, it's this whole aspect of suffering, and it just hurts more. So it, I, I remember seeing something with uh, the Hawks owner, how he had David Goggins live with him for a month. And he's like, hey, you know what? We're going to do one thing that sucks every day. Well, it wasn't just one thing that sucked. It was five things that sucked every day. And that was for one month. And, of course, David Goggins, short with words, just leaves and says on a sticky note, thanks, and, and is out of that guy's life for good. But, you know, that's that's how it is. You've got to – it's outside your comfort zone. And the number basis makes it pretty easy to push yourself outside of that because – now it's no longer how you feel. Now it's it's a performance rating, and, and that's critical. I mean, I was I was doing that a lot on my own, incrementing. So for months, I was just uh, taking my own mental tabs, trying to increment. So each workout harder than the last, and, and that way it was very good. And, and that is a good way to to challenge yourself too. But things like David Goggins would do is like the one of the examples was the guys wearing all of his work clothes, I mean, he's a major big wig executive, and David Gong is like, dude, you got 10 minutes the next meeting? 10 minutes, as many burpees as you can do right now. And the guy's like, well, I'm wearing all this clothing. He's like, I don't care, just do it. So it, it, that, that's some of the fun things too. I mean, I love breaking down into the salt of your existence where you just are, you get dirty, you get nasty, and you just, you just like, for example, you can wear your clothes in a, in a pool, like me with my running shorts. I'll, I'll wear my running shorts. I'll get sweaty, shower with my running shorts on, swim with them on. Hey, guess what? I only need one pair of running shorts because I launder them over the course of using them. Actually doing the physical activity cleans my shorts. Go figure. But, I mean, granted, occasionally you get some soap on them, but you can do it. You, you know, it, it's just, it, it's a whole different way of going forward in your life. Um, you know, I, I got to focus, I got to adapt, uh, I have to do a lot of focus and work, but all in all, I mean, it's going to move to, you know, now I have the time to do a video. It's been, to say that I haven't had the time in the past, I mean it. It was very strict, very rigid, but now I, I, can, I can start to monitor progress again, hopefully, you know, maybe engage in some other projects, but, but my focus is still there, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm not shaken. I mean, I, I talk to my buddy, and, you know, it's like, well, you know, he, he thought I was going to die, to be honest, and he, he'd been through it all. So he, he, he was, he's like, I never thought I was going to see you again. Well, here I am. And he's like, well, you know, I hope you understand you're getting older. And it's kind of like one guy mentioned to me, my, my nickname was Old Man over there. One guy said to me, oh, you know, you're an old horse. And my response to that was, I may be an old horse, but I'm not a dead horse. As in, I can still take a beating. So, I don't know, you call it insanity, do the same thing. I'm not doing the same thing. I'm adapting, I'm overcoming, I'm moving forward. I got my head held high, I'm happy. You know, my life is good here. And, you know, just, just make it better. And... and I, I gotta say, I'm just absolutely humbled by all these people who I've, who I've met along the journey, 
and I just want that to continue. I mean, these it, it's it's unbelievable the, the humility and character, and there, there's really only one place where you find people like that. I mean, I've I've never seen anything like it, and and it's just so consistent. And, and that's a bigger goal here is the, um, you know, people you can rely on having, you know, having a, a good group, but. Uh, Highly motivated individuals, all all working together passionately. That's where you really get things done, and, and that's the value. I, I mean, at, at its core, that is why they are so successful, and that's something that cannot you can't produce it. It can't be given. It, it's it really comes down to a unique set of traits for people who, on their own accord, have have motivated themselves to that degree. So, you know, my, my hat's off to everyone there. I'm just, I'm amazed at how simply you can live and you can, you can make a life. And that's, I don't know if you call that being a caveman or whatever, but my God, it felt so good. Like, I'm just operating on, on pure adrenaline, being down your core. I mean, this is all luxury. It's all luxury. I remember years back, I'd I'd be on deployment or something, and you go to something like Walmart, you look at all the your options, and you're like, your, your head explodes. You know, it, it's too much, absolutely too much. It's overload. And it, it's because you don't need all these things. You know, you're, you're not accustomed to it, and so it's culture shock when you come back to society. But, you know, here I am, the, uh, the nice indoctrinated uh, zealot of capitalism, just saying that fat is good, get fat, uh, don't necessarily do what I'm going to do, I'm going to be a hypocrite and I'm going to I'm gonna train and get light again, I mean I'm, I'm only weighing like 180 right now, but for the record, still off of alcohol, still free and, and living a good existence, back to my kombucha and today I'm officially kicking it back off, so there, there, there goes my one month hiatus, I'm back on, I'm hardcore and Thanks for watching. Take care.